What's going on everyone? Tenai here and today in this video, we're gonna be playing around with Blade today. And I did kind of build him, but we don't have the full set. So it's gonna be uh, kind of like a mock trial. But I'll be going through his skill kits, take a look at his Eidolons, and then figure out if he's gonna be a good character or not. My Blade right now has 6800 HP. Not 6900. I know it's an L, but what can I say, right? 86% crit rate, 174% critical damage, and we do have 38% wind damage boost. And we do have his Lycone. We get 18% crit rate and HP. And then when we use our HP or get attacked, my damage increases by 24%. So this is like really good Lycone for you to use. Alternatively, you could be using this, a Sacred Vow. At S5, you get 80% damage increase. But then again, Sacred Vow is not anywhere near this Lycone. So if you do love Blade and you like his playstyle, I would say you should consider pulling for it. For Trace, I have unlocked all the nodes and I kept all the skills at level 888 and 5 and the traits that you need to prioritize would be obviously everything all his skills are good that means he's quite expensive to build compared to some support characters for example like asta you can just focus on our ultimate first for blade everything does contribute to your damage so just don't even read what they do just upgrade okay for his bonus ability this one right here damage dealt by follow-up attacks increased by 20 percent this one is if blade hits a weakness broken enemy after using the forest of swords which is his enhanced attack after using his skills, he will restore HP equal to 5% of his max HP plus 100. This is very essential. If you don't even have this unlocked and say, wow, Blade is so mid, well, then your brain is mid. When Blade's current HP is at 50% of max HP or lower, incoming healing increases by 20%. That means that you need a healer. And as you can see, I have no effect whatsoever, but my relics looks like this. They're not that great. However, some of them are really great. Like, for example, this boots. Right here, this is like 40 CV, right? So we don't even need to get this effect right here. Except the fact that we're losing max HP. We don't even need 16% crit rate. Because what the f*** is this boots, right? <laughs> So I'm still farming for his set. And once I get all his set, I would probably make another video doing a showcase for E0S1 maximum power blade video. If you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe to my channel with alert settings on so that you won't be missing out on that video. Adolons, we don't have anything, but take a look at this. His Adolons look so good for his DPS. His E1 helps you do more damage. His ultimate deals additionally increase damage to a single enemy target with the increased amount equal to 150% of tally of blade's HP loss in the current battle. That's super huge. And E2. When Blade is in the Hellscape state, which is after he uses his skill, his crit rate increases by 50%. So if I do have E2, then my crit rate is technically going to be 100%. I'm not even getting those set bonuses, right? So I have a lot of potential for this character at the moment. E4. When Blade's current HP drops to 50% or lower of his max HP, increases his max HP by 20%, stacks up to two times. This is huge. I believe it's based on your base stats. There's no way they're going to take the max max HP and multiply by 1.2, right? There's no way. And E6. The maximum number of charge stacks is reduced to 4. Instead of 5, it's 4. That means he's gonna be doing more follow-up attacks. It's gonna be too broken. And the damage of the follow-up attack triggered by Blaze Talent additionally increases by 50% of his max HP. Oh my god, I can't wait until I can actually just unlock all these Eidolons. But anyways... I will do a E6S5 Blade Showcase if I reach 100k subs on this channel. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel now. Okay, anyways, I'm going to bring this Blade into the Memory of Chaos and see how much damage he can do. All right, we don't even need to look at the details because for Blade, I feel like the best team for him is going to be Bronya, Silver Wolf, any healer, right? We can put Physical so that we have better chance of putting the Wind Weakness. Actually, it's 100% because if we have Quantum and Physical right here. It's going to be 100% percent win weakness that's gonna be good and for the team two i can just put whatever right uh put all those dps whatever okay cool lucha has the best synergy not everyone has lucha okay and i just explained the reason why i put the physical healer and if you don't understand that well big rip wind cool all right watch this it's Mirror of Chaos, four stage, so it doesn't really matter so much, but whatever, right? <laughs> Defense break. Bronya ultimate. And then, this is gonna be Blade's auto, and then his ultimate follow up. Nice. And then the boss died. Oh no. Oh, non crit. 85% crit rate, by the way. 
It is actually true that if you don't have your crit rate at 100%, it's 50-50, right? Okay, let's put it on auto and see if my Natasha can support Blade. My Natasha is not well built, by the way. <laughs> my Natasha does not heal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I might need to change the position of the blade because he's not getting hit by those AoEs. Ooh. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. And that's exactly why you have to go for a character that does massive amount of damage and stop coping about, Oh my god, my Sushang is gonna be good DPS! Oh my god, didn't I say I'm gonna change the position of blade? I am so dumb. 40k, nice. Hit me! Ooh. Yes. Okay, why don't we just kind of fast forward this to like Mirror Chaos 7? Because this stage is just kind of a joke, right? I feel like Blade is going to shine brighter when he goes against a monster that is like, you know, very tanky and hits you more often. Okay, Bald, use your ultimate. Yes! Yes, lock on! Yes! The follow-up attack! Oh my god, it feels so satisfying. And it feels like Blade is one of the best characters to have for auto. No matter what he does, he does AoE, right? And he does strong damage. And he also got the DOT, so... He's getting extra stacks for taking turns too. Nice. Yes. And then the hit gets him another stack. This is OP. So if you think about it, cleansing is not really good for Blade. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Ooh. Are you gonna auto until MOC 10? I think we can do that. Oh, 73k. So far, so good. The reason why Memory of Chaos right now looks okay is because um, they don't have the new monsters inside. Alright, let's go. Yes. I love to see that. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I wonder how much damage he's going to be doing at E6. That's crazy. Forty-nine K, nice. All right. Okay, we're in stage. Why? I didn't even notice. We were in stage seven. <laughs> we're just chilling. God damn. We can put Locha, Bald, Silver Wolf because why not? Yes. Yes! I like his mechanics. There's no flaw in this. He kills people with his ultimate, and then when he has the full stacks, he waits until everything shows up, and then he uses it. So, I like it. I like it a lot. And then he... Even the DOTs that he gets, right? It's not really a debuff for him. It's a buff. He starts the turn, gets the stacks... Yes! Let's go! Look at this! This is so good! Tenha, your Bronya has been advancing your Silver Wolf, not Blade? What? Okay, Bronya, you're fired, okay? I don't think Bronya speeds up Seely. Or did she? My Silver Wolf has 160 speed, so maybe that's why you feel like Bronya is boosting her a few times. What is wrong with Bronya? I trusted Hoyoverse. Hoyoverse told me that they have buffed Bronya's auto system. Didn't they say they fixed it? Why is she using her buff on freaking Silver Wolf? Stage 9. Oh, so we can put Blade here. That's perfect. Okay, this is gonna be good. All right, Blade Lucy, are you ready? Wait, what is his technique? Ooh. 
Oh, no weakness. It's fine. Minus 20 HP? Ah, you start with one stack. I see, I see, I see. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of HP loss. Very nice. What is this? This is Mirror Chaos. You don't know? Ooh. Yes. Okay, okay. I approve. 46k damage. So just keep that in mind. There are some buff coming from Memory of Chaos. We get attack boost. Okay. Wait. Let me see how much attack boost we got. Attack boost. Is it really 50%? Isn't that too much, don't you think? Let's put a defense break. And then... Bronya's ultimate. Attack and crit damage buff. And damage buff. Alright, here we go. We're gonna do a lot of damage here, okay? So we're gonna do one auto. Enhanced attack, by the way. Passive and an ultimate. Ooh. 79k. 41k. Single target. Ooh! <laughs> 91k, dude! Oh my god! Massive! Oh, hello, Kokolia. Yes! Okay, so far so good. But I do feel like he's gonna be better on speed boots because that means he can use auto attack a lot faster and then he can end up using his skills again and he can have better rotations, right? Because he doesn't have good synergy with Tingyun, it's more natural for him to... Oh my god. It's more natural for him to lose his HP by using his skills by himself. And use ultimate. We need wind. Yes. Get countered! Yes. Wait, that's not a lot of damage. What the f... 15k. Enhance. Yes. Ooh. I don't like how his ultimate damage fluctuates a lot. It depends on how much damage he takes, you know? So when he fights against those monsters that does a lot of damage, then he's also going to be doing a lot of damage with his ultimate every single time he uses it. But if by any chance he doesn't get hit by a lot of monsters or be able to use his skills, do a lot of auto attacks, then the damage itself is mid for that instance. Most of the time, it's doing a lot of damage, but when I see those low number out of nowhere, then I just kind of feel like, that's not a lot of damage, you know what I mean? This is why you need to fully understand about the character to see if that is the real damage or not. So you probably need to like kind of average things out. Ooh, yes, yes, that's what I want to see. Moving on to floor 10. Hmm. You know what's so shitty? They're all weak to wind. This is like memory of chaos for blade. Of oh, Kafka. Now dominate me, mommy. Perfect. She's also weak to imaginary. I like how I make it sound like I'm thinking about the team comp, right? But I end up playing the same comp every single time. <laughs> uh, who cares, man? As long as my team survives, we're gonna get full stars anyways, right? Over should let us actually cancel our ultimate. I don't know, man. And it feels dumb. We can go back to auto because Blade UC is very good. Oh, five monsters. Stop! Stop using your auto, Bronya. You have skill points. What the fuck? What is going on? I don't understand this. Fix Bronya AI, by the way. I know, right? They need to fix it again. Ooh. 100k damage. We love to see that. Ooh, yes. Finally. Finally, Bronya. <laughs> oh my god. Here comes Kafka. No, 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 no. My Blade Uzi, please. Dominate my Blade Uzi. Please, please.
Oof. Oof. We have to do this because we need to keep Silver Wolf alive. Okay, alright, cool. We're safe. We're safe. I mean, there's no way Otto was able to save my Silver Wolf that way, right? Let's go. Oh! She is so tanky. This Kafka is so tanky. There's no way she's not gonna donate my Blade Uzi, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Blade is so strong here. Dominate, dominate, dominate. Yes! We got the achievement! Very nice! <laughs> My blade got dominated by Kafka. It's a team kill. But funny thing is, the achievement name is Go Blady. <laughs> it's funny. He gets dominated, we're just like, yo, let's go, Blady! You got dominated by Kafka! Is that it? My first impression of Blade is that he is super strong. Stupidly strong. Very satisfying to play with. Because like I said in the beginning of this video, everything happens instantaneously, unlike Jingyuan. Jingyuan, the king himself, he's nice. But, you know, it's hard for me to control his lightning lord. But with Blade, we can see everything happening instantaneously. And I love to see that. And look at that, I mean, this outfit. His color scheme, you know? it's really nice you know that red ribbon on his back reminds me of a present you know he is the true present for Honkai Stario and I think a lot of people would be spending a lot of money on this guy because he's so hot look at that look at his modeling <gasps> his nose is big you know they say that if your nose is big that means your pee pee is big <laughs> what about Jing Yuan is his nose big hmm Velt? Oh, damn. That's very big. What about, uh, Jeppard? Oh, that's big as well. How about, um, Sampo? Damn, all the male characters have big cock. I mean, big nose. What about Den Hung? Oh, he's got big nose as well. I would probably make another video once I finish his farming, I guess. But as you can see, I had no set. I just had the right main stats and a lot of crit rates, crit damage. I can't wait until I can find the speed boost for him so that I can actually kind of compare the damage output. But as you can see i'm missing a lot of crit rate here you know that could have been translated into critical damage you know that eight percent crit rate and then 20 percent basic attack and skill damage right i'm missing that and here i was missing 12 percent max hp and then 16 percent crit rate that's gonna make a lot of change anyways that is it for my first impression blade video and if you did like this video let me know in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to my new channel all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one adios